Hi, and welcome to Soul Food Ministries and Outreach. I'm Henriette Hobson, and thank you for tuning in. Well, I wanted to speak, and welcome to No More Jim Crow Ministry as well, because this is a video that is about Black Americans right now. Uh, something that I saw on YouTube that just struck a chord with me and um, wanted to, you know, kind of handle it and deal with it on my opinion on it because I, I, it's, it's about someone that I pray for and that I believe that uh, is doing good. None of us are perfect. The Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So if you're looking for someone to be perfect and not have made any mistakes and don't have issues, there's not going to be one. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Now, this uh, video was about a gentleman that was, uh, he's an actor and he was making a statement that he had been harassed by, with sexual um, approaches from another male and that this male was uh, very big in the industry and what have you. Now, all of that is not good, of course. We don't, well, I don't. <laughs> uh, condone that. No one should be harassed uh, to do something they don't want to do when they tell you no. <laughs> no means no. Uh, especially when it comes to you know sexual advances. You know, if someone is, you want to ask you out more than once, a couple times, you know, maybe even three, but I think that's the limit. You know, uh, when a person is when they're really seriously, you know, they're telling you, no, I don't, I'm not interested. I don't want to be interested. And so, and so, um, you know, it's how you ask if you're just, you know, Hey, you know, how you doing? Um, you know, just really interested in taking you out to dinner or what have you, you know, have you changed your mind, you know, or something like that. And then you know, let it go. <laughs> let it go. Okay. If they say no, they don't want to go. It's too many people on the planet that will t will even tell you yes. But you can't make someone want to be with you and go out with you. And it is against the law to harass a person. Now, this situation seems to be totally different with um, this. This person is their sexual advances. That's when you're crossing the line right there, you know. Um, and at first, so I'm not giving out any names, but then they kind of put up a shadowy picture of a person and then a, with a blur. And then they um, came out with it. And you kind of could figure out who they were talking about by the description and then by the, you know, the silhouette of the person, you know, in the blur. So then they came out with a full picture and they're, you know, trying to tag uh, Tyler Perry. Now, I pray for Tyler Perry all the time. And Tyler Perry is doing more for his community than ninety-nine point nine 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 percent of people. And it's black people, particularly, for their own community. Now, that doesn't excuse anyone's behavior if this, uh, if these accusations are true. No, no, none of that's good. The thing that I have a problem with is that you couldn't find anyone else. This is this is this is the sadness of, of the black community that I I know has to change. We cannot tear down our own. We can't continue to do that. That's something that was programmed in us to do and to be um, from slavery. 
And out of all of the other people that run the major industries and own them and have assaulted people, have murdered people, have done every horrible, ungodly, sinful thing on the planet to our people, you picked the one person that's really trying to do something good and right. And is one of your own. I don't see where this particular person has called out the other the other uh, side of the industry and all the other races that are out there that are doing things to us. If you had a pro have a problem with the man, you should go to directly to the man. Find a way to have a mediator, confront him with it or whatever. It's, if if it actually happened. He's not oblivious to the fact that he did it, if he did it. I'm not saying that you're lying. I'm just saying if, because I wasn't there, I don't know for sure. What I am saying is that with some of the descriptions of the things that I heard, I don't know, you know, this is just all stuff you're getting from, you know, whatever. I'm just responding to that. And that is, why are you, why are you continue, why were you continue, continuing to be in someone's uh, presence and space and circle that you knew from past experiences where they were. Why? Why were you? Why were you even around them? Why would you allow yourself to be inebriated and trust that you were going to be safe in the same? Uh, or at the person's house, wherever it was. Not just that person. There is so many people out here that are doing what was said that happened. And then a statement was made that now these other people saying a lot of things. I'm just responding to that. You waited until the statute of limitations was over because it wasn't about money. I, none of that makes any sense. They were saying there is no statute of limitations on sexual assaults or, or what have you. And if it wasn't about money, then why didn't you just go to him and find a way to, to deal with that firsthand? Then to one of the, you know, one of the people that are trying to make a difference in spite of what all that has happened to us, you chose him. And you could not have dealt with it man to man. Now, one thing that I have to say about Tyler Perry is that he he wasn't he didn't cover up his struggle. He spoke about his abuse. He spoke about his struggle with the cause that came up, you know, the of the a negative effects that came about because of the abuse that he had and that he still struggles back and forth with that today so what was the whole point of coming out trying to smear this person they've already let the world know that they were dealing with some things these type things um not you particularly you wait until this man is successful done what no only very few other black people have done in that industry especially and has a son try to have a family in spite of his past all of us have a past of some type and god in his great mercy is a forgiver of very poor decisions that we, a lot of us have made, all of us have made at some point in our lives, and um, that the enemy has, you know, set a trap for and pulled us and pressured us into some things that we didn't even want to do or be a part of. I'm including 
myself and anyone else on the planet because the Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So I don't, I don't get it at all. With a person coming out. There's something more behind this. I don't know exactly what that is. And I'm not going in. I got a few things in my head. But I'm not going to even bring those out. Because I don't want to accuse this person of something that they may not have done or is doing or is thinking. But what I do say is it's wrong, I believe. To come out and try to smear this man now. Uh, after he has a son that he's trying to raise and um, leave a legacy for. And, you know, give a better life than he had. That man's not perfect. Not at all. But he does some things for his community we don't even hear about. He don't even want us to hear about. Um, trying to live above and beyond the horrors of what happened to him. We have to stop tearing our own down. That's exactly what the other, other side of this, of our race wants. No matter what the spectrum of color is. Or community. Or culture. They've been raping and molesting and beating and stealing and degrading us for as long as any of us can ever remember <laughs> that history even have it written down. So, you know, black people. Americans, please, let's try to think about that. There's a bigger picture beyond, see, because it's really not about trying to make people aware of anything. Where Man already told us what he was dealing with. So that's not it. That's not it. It's something more evil and sinister and selfish that is going on with bringing this out and saying all this stuff now. And I guarantee you, he's probably not the only person that has ever made such an approach or some type of approach like that uh, or in that way, you know, that type of um, advancement. Whether it was uh, I don't want to get into it and get too graphic or whatever, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so anyway, you know, that's that's my take on it, that we don't, don't, don't talk about your own. We can't get up, a leg up, before our own people take us back down. When all along, every other culture has a plot and a plan and is executing it putting our our men in dresses and not just for the sake of what Tyler Perry says he's doing he, he's you know he said I, I it's not something I want to wear women's clothes women's clothes and dresses and all that this was entertainment for the sake of comedy and it was telling the story of my life and he's acting it out. Now, it may not be the best to, 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 you know, continue to show for us to see men in women's clothes. But uh, have you gotten out there and done anything about the other people doing it? And how they're making our men wear those dresses for way different reasons and what they are doing to them behind the scenes and making them do in order to excel up the ladder in their industry what that they're in control of. Mm, I don't hear that. There's a few people that are bold enough to get out there and say it, but most of you are not. And this young man, I haven't heard him say, I don't, I don't see any videos about him saying anything about them and what they've done 
And I know, as handsome as he is, he's been approached on all the levels. So anyway, you all just continue to pray for Tyler Perry. Don't let anybody tear him down. Don't let anybody do him, you know, that way. And, you know, just, you know, just... He's got a son. Remember that. I could have put some people in jail, <laughs> you know, that stole some stuff from me because, you know, but I knew this person had a son and there's enough of us. It wasn't a violent crime or, or anything. You know, it was, it was, it was, it was violent in a different way. Violent when you take something, people's belongings or whatever. But this particular situation just struck me. And how many little black boys don't have their dads? Now, some of these scoundrels don't even need to be in these kids' lives because they, they're not, you know, you, if you, you, you are supposed to be working in someone's house and you're stealing something, then your character is shot anyway. And he don't even, you know, it's sad. You know, tell them what else is, you know, going on. But nevertheless. So anyway, um, there you go. There you go. So please don't feed into what this person is trying to do to Tyler Perry or anybody else is coming up. You know, somebody else on their time day with his lover once and all that. Well, he's not his lover now. So now they're talking, you know. And uh, like I said, the man didn't say... He hadn't done anything, you know, wrong, that that was in that in that um, arena. He had he didn't say that he was free from that. That that wasn't something that uh, you know wasn't plaguing him or bothering him, and that he was dealing with. And so, why why you need to come out and tell that? Sure, ain't nothing to be proud of. So why are you you just trying to hurt Tyler? Without thinking at all the big about the big picture about what this man is trying to do to help black people and his and his family the young lady that is the mother of his son and him trying to have a, a family or relationship or whatever it is that they're doing co-parenting however that works for them so um anyway christian people please pray please pray for him because he really needs the prayer uh we all do if we're going to make it through you know, without, um, you know, the enemy just raking us over the coals, we need to pray for one another and hold each other up. So anyway, that's all I have to say about that, at least right now. <laughs> and uh, just be blessed. Let's keep loving each other. Let's be kind to each other. Let's make decisions based on the fact that we're trying to protect one another. Not just for a like and a few dollars that somebody's going to throw at you because you got, you know, this many views or whatever. So, however, you know, that it works. So, see you next time. God bless.